kind of lost for words, but um, one word that come in mind is heart. And these guys just play with heart. We called a timeout, about 3.40 to go, and everybody looked at each other and said, we still believe, and we got a will to win. And uh, they just dug in. Uh, they made big shots. Uh, we kept getting steals. And that's just a UConn tough victory. And, you know, I love my guys, and they didn't, they didn't, they didn't falter. And we could have laid down and said no, and then that, that six man stood up and, and gave us that Joe the energy, and we just kept playing and kept grinding, and sooner or later we're going to get you. And, um, you know, we got them at the end. Thanks, Coach. Questions from the floor? Right there on the left. This is for all three of you guys. What emotions have you guys felt over the last two nights? Well, for me, um, you know, it's a scenario where we, we lose and, you know, we don't get a bid. And, you know, we feel, you know, not the pressure, but we feel the opportunity. And, um, you know, when I got soldiers like this beside me, um, you know, we can't lose. Um, we put in the work each and every day. Um, we buy into each other. And, you know, this is the outcome. And, you know, we've been through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of pain this year. but. You know, it made us stronger, it made us tougher, it made us more resilient. And I think these guys are really proving it now. And we got 40 minutes, and, um, you know, in front of the, the best fans in America. Um, I'll take that any day. So, you know, my feelings is the same. We're going to over-prepare so we don't underperform. And, uh, you know, we missed a lot of shots today, but our defense is what kept us in there. And, you know, especially at the end, we got kill after kill after kill. And, uh, and that's, what we're, that's what we're about. Next question. Uh, Ryan, it seems like kind of this program just is bringing out point guards from Kemba to Shabazz to you that are just fantastic and play with such confidence down the stretch. Is there anything that you've learned playing under Shabazz to be able to go on and put out a performance like that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I played with the man for three years. Um, so, you know, I learned a lot from him um, with being a great leader and, um, you know, being on the court. Um, the way that he used to create separation and, um, you know, read situations to get a shot off at the end of shot clock situations. Um, you know, then I just put it together with my, with my own mind and my own twist to it. And, um, you know, I learned a lot from him.